Today is Sunday, February 4, 2024, and I'm down by the Vancouver Convention Centre, and today I want to look at a sculpture called Digital Orca. This is Digital Orca. Now, before I came out here, I uh, looked up on the internet some interesting facts about it. So it was installed in 2009 and it was commissioned by the city of Vancouver. Let me just make sure that I'm focusing on this properly. And it's, it's a very interesting piece, that's for sure. And it is, it, is, uh, it is composed of black and white cubes. And that's for the purpose of giving it the impression of being a pixelated photo. Now the framework is made of steel, but the, uh, the skin of it here is made of aluminum. Or if, or if you're watching this from, uh, from Britain, that would be aluminium. Aluminium. Okay, now the, let me get around the side here so I can get a good shot of it. It certainly is an interesting piece, that's for sure. Yeah, because it really looks like a pixelated photo. Now, the artist was Douglas Coupland. All right, it sure is interesting. And I'll just go around uh, to the other side so we can get a good look at that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of a kind. Now I am out here on a splendid evening and look at these uh, condos here. But it is a really nice evening. It, it has, it's pretty warm too. It has to be about 10 degrees Celsius. And of course that body of water there in front of me, that's uh, Coal Harbor. And you see in the distance there, those, uh, those mountains, that's North Vancouver. 
Now I'm just gonna turn off for a minute so I don't get too many people in my photo and then I'm gonna move over there. So from a different angle, there you have the digital orca and you have the condo buildings where the city's preferred residents live. There's Coal Harbor, that body of water there. Now over there, let me point to it, that's Stanley Park. And that there would be West Vancouver, just to give you a uh, reference point. But it's a really nice day. And there's nor more North Vancouver there. And there's Canada Place and the Port of Vancouver. Let me just zoom in here, see if we can. All right, there you go. And we've got a plane coming in. But that was good timing. Down there we have the terminal for Harbor Air. I think a lot of those flights go to Vancouver Island. And there's the plane we just saw land. I know in, uh, in a previous video, I showed you guys the Lionsgate Bridge. Now, if you see right there, see those two mountain peaks? Those are called the Lion's Head, the Lion's Heads. And that's why we have the Lionsgate Bridge. Just a piece of fun trivia. Now I'm on the other side here of Canada Place at the Port of Vancouver. I'm just on the other side of the building. And you see down there, that's that's where I normally head. That's where all the trains are. However, today I'm over here on this side because I'm going to go check out one of my rental bikes and I'm going to go get some pizza. So I am on Pender Street. And on the left-hand side here, there's a couple of pizzerias. Oh, the light's about to change, change red, so let me hurry up. I'm going to park this bike and uh, go to one of the pizza places. There were no, all of the pizza places on Pender Street were closed. So I've come down here to Cordova Street. 
and there's Ignite Pizzeria, and I have not been here before. Now, it is a little pricey. One slice is $4.29, but big whoop to do. I'm going to give it a try. I got the Montreal smoked meat slice. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Oh, it looks yummy, yummy, delicious, and smells good too. Okay, so I've had a couple of bites and it's really good. Of course, my usual grievance with uh, pizza is that's I find it's a little bit too salty, but it's like that everywhere. I hope you enjoyed my video. So like and subscribe and all the good stuff. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.